Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create single value parameter with values coming from uh, the query for that parameter in SSRS uh, report. We will learn how to create a tabular report with single value parameter. We will learn how to provide values to that parameter from a query and then finally we will learn uh, how to set the default value to that parameter from a query as well as set some uh, static values. Uh, now let's take a look on the query here is my query so I have select query that is returning me first name last name product names item sold and region what I want to do I want to create a report that should accept a region as a parameter so once it accept the parameter it should show the results only for that region now let me take you to the SSDT and just to mention that we have this table in the sales database so let's go to the SSDT and take a look now what we have here we have a shared data source so double click here and we can see that it is pointing to the sales database so we are good we don't need to create another one if you don't have it you can go ahead and right click and create a new one right click on the reports add and a new item we are creating a new empty report and provide the name so in this case we will be calling it single value parameter and uh, you can call it uh, from query or whatever and add uh, now once uh, the report is ready as empty report uh, you go to the data sources uh, so add data source uh, and here you will be providing a name a decent name so I call it uh, DS uh, uh, sales and uh, we can create embedded data source uh, but in uh, our case we don't need to use that uh, if you will create uh, embedded data source it will be specific or uh, will be scope of uh, uh, that data set will be uh, uh, limited to that uh, report uh, we have shared data source if we are using uh, or creating multiple report from the da same database uh, use the shared one so click here drop down okay now next part will be creating a data set uh, add data set uh, and here you will be using embedded data set uh, provide the name so I'm going to call this these these set sale table sale photo and uh, select the data source uh, that we have created here so it is pointed to the our shared data source uh, now paste your query last thing we will do in this query will be writing uh, a parameter so we'll send where uh, and then write the, the name of the column on which you are creating a parameter so in our case it is region and say equal to and uh, say at the rate uh, and the region so you can provide any name you can say region name region parameter whatever you want to provide uh, here so as long as you say equal to at the rate and then rest of the part you can provide anything and uh, that that will create a single value because it is equal to so we are all good here hit okay now right click here and go to the insert and table this will uh, let us insert some fields uh, and we can see those fields in the table let me drag them quickly and finally we want to get the region as well it's a good idea so we can see the values now click here and then make it bold and some background color can be added to make this fancy report and preview the report now once uh, you see the report it is in region and it is expecting you to enter that value so let's enter that value we call it to Europe now once I enter Europe or Asia or North America it is going to return me that uh, records so this is good this is really good stuff but I don't know as a business user I have no idea how many regions uh, we are working with uh, so every time uh, they will come back to somebody and say hey how many regions we have it uh, so why not to provide them a list or drop down uh, from where they can select uh, those uh, regions uh, also those regions uh, can change maybe in table we have a uh, uh, four regions of as of today tomorrow maybe we will delete one region uh, or maybe we will add a new region uh, data so they should be dynamic so the region value should be coming from some query from the table so let's go back and create a new data set let me show you first go to design and here in the parameters this is the parameter I want to go ahead and take a look on the properties here this prompt is region so I will say enter sorry choose or select region so that will make it more sense instead of say just region it is text type and uh, if you will take a look available values right now this is none so there is, we are not uh, putting any value but not even specifying value or not from the query so 
we want to provide the values from the query because specify values are static values we have to add here and in case our region will change or a new values will be added with new region we will not see here or deleted will not see here so this parameter will be still there even region is deleted or may be added so uh, this is not a good idea to add static values now get values from the query here is our DS sales and if I will try to use the same region what happened I'm, I'm saying okay use the data set what we have and then use the region fine and the label I don't care uh, label is like what you want to show in the parameter drop down so that field is called label field now if I'm using if you guys notice I'm using the same data set for a my uh, table and also I'm trying to use that one for a, a parameter so let's see what happened it took it glad now it throw us an error why the definition of report single value parameter query is invalid the parameter region has a default value or a valid value uh, that depends upon the report parameter region forward uh, dependencies are not uh, valid so that's the problem you cannot use the same data set for the table and for the parameter so let's go back and take a look so we need to create a new data set so let's create a new data set and here we will be creating embedded data set as well we we'll call it d set region and we can call it parameter now select the data source it's going to be same because the data is coming from the same table and it is uh, in the same uh, database uh, so we can write a select region from table so let me take that table name and this is my table name now if you guys notice here I'm selecting everything so let me show you what happened so if I paste it here and go ahead we are good now and uh, we can uh, go to the parameter again go to the properties and uh, available values in the uh, getting values from the query we will be selecting uh, the set region parameter and now our field is the region and our label is the region as well so I will uh, show you the, how we can change the label in uh, just a second but well, let's take a look uh, on this uh, right now now we go ahead and take a look so what happened report came just fine so it sent choose region we go ahead and see North America is repeating uh, so many time and Asia is also and Europe so what happened the data set uh, it will return us the value if we select the North America it will just work fine it is taking that single value and providing uh, uh, to the D set to sale table and that's how we are getting the results uh, but now uh, if you have uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, values here how many North America you will have it and uh, where you will find Asia so that's not the right way to do it it should return us uh, distinct values uh, so let's go back to the D set uh, uh, region parameter and now we will say distinct distinct okay this time it is going to return us distinct values and we are good now we have Asia Europe and North America so let's just select Asia and it is returning Asia we are going to Europe and it is returning Europe so that's pretty cool right now so let's say instead of Asia Europe and North America we want to say Asian region European region and North American region so for our users we don't they don't know this is the Asia value Europe value or North America under the hood they want to see more descriptive descriptive values or in the drop down so we can go ahead and change that let's go to the SSMS and take a look on the query that I have created so here is the same region I'm selecting for the label part I'm creating this new column I'm saying case when region is equal to Europe then European region when uh, region is equal to Asia then Asian region and when region is equal to North America then North America region and uh, if uh, this value does not match with some values uh, that call it unknown region so that's how I'm building my label so you can build your own labels when you want go back click on uh, design data set that's a parameter data set paste the query here hit ok now let's go to the sorry let's go to the design again go to parameter right click parameter properties go to the available values and here in the label change that so provide the label that you want to display in the parameter drop down so hit ok now we are all good 
we can see that Asian region, European region, and North America region. Instead of Asia, Europe, and America, those, those were the values. Now hit uh, view report and it's coming correct. Every time we are running the report, uh, what is happening? Uh, we have to go ahead and select something. Uh, let's say I go to design, and if I go to preview back, it is asking me to select the values. Uh, so I have to select. Uh, let's say I want to set some default value. So let's go back to design and then uh, here go to the parameter values, sorry, properties go to default values and specify value first of all let's go to the get values from query here in the get values from the query we can use the data set so our data set is the uh, d set region parameter and value select the region because we cannot select region label because that's not the value we have to provide the value so region is value hit okay now you will see as it is single value parameter it took the very first uh, value so it took the Asia region and that's how it is displaying by default now if you go to uh, European region you can take a look you can change whatever you like once the report is uh, uh, available to you the last thing uh, we can do we won't, don't want to display the default value as Asia because our all the customer or 90 percent customers uh, are in North America so we want to do one thing every time we want to display this report to users very first time we want to display with North America so go to the design again go to the parameter properties go to default value and here specify value so add and then uh, you can go ahead and write it here or hit uh, FX uh, and then you can say is equal to and double quotes and say North America that's the value I'm providing so if you are not really sure about that go back to your table and just copy this value and then provide this value here it will be coming in double quotes and that's how you will be doing and uh, hit ok now you go ahead and preview your report so see it is a comment for now North America by default uh, and uh, now you can have the option later on if you want to change to Asia or uh, you want to see European data you can uh, take a look uh, so thanks very much for watching this video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video